Hey guys, Ken Boy with the Accounting Accidentally website where you'll find over 500 blog posts here on the website. And in addition, if you slide down toward the middle of the page, you'll see 400 links plus to my YouTube videos. What I wanted to talk about was a recent article I wrote, What the Warby Parker Stores Teach Us About Capital Budgeting. And I was a little surprised to see Warby Parker, the eyewear company, is aggressively expanding its brick-and-mortar footprint and says it was on track to open 35 new stores this year. And it turns out that there's a trend, and the trend is, is that shoppers want a hybrid experience. They want to try look at frames online, but actually go into a physical store and try them on, which is why Warby Parker is adding store locations. The other thing is that after the pandemic, landlords are offering attractive terms to get tenants after the pandemic. So what's going on here is, this is a capital investment for Warby Parker. Opening new stores requires a large investment. And the company must assess how long it takes the firm to earn enough income and cash to recover the money they pay out for the investment. And this is a capital budgeting decision that looks at cash inflows and outflows related to a store location. So to explain capital investments, I'm going to use a simple example. I've used it in my YouTube videos. Let's assume that Levi, a jean manufacturer, has to buy a new sewing machine for jean production. The cost is $10,000. The sewing machine, because it's more efficient, generates $2,000 more in cash inflows each year for six years. That's a useful life. And we'll assume that the accepted rate of return, or you could look at it as the annual rate of inflation, is 5%. So all that being said... A business wants any sort of investment to generate a positive net present value, meaning that the present value of the cash flows and inflows and outflows is a positive number. If the number is positive, it makes sense to make the investment. So here's the analysis for the sewing machine. You see in year zero, we have outflows of 10000 And in years one to six, we have cash inflows of $2,000 each. And then I use the present value tables at 5% to discount those payments back into today's dollars. And if you multiply column A by column B, you'll see that at the bottom right-hand side, the present value is a positive $152, meaning that it makes sense to make the investment. Interestingly, you'll see in red that the present value after just five years is actually a negative number. So you need that sixth year to get to a positive present value. So that's an overview of the type of capital budgeting that companies take and look at before they make a capital investment. So that's a little bit on capital budgeting. Remember also that you can go to conference room. Here's the address right here, which is an online community for accounting and personal finance. You can explore the site by clicking here and take a look at the content in the community. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.